for this problem, we're trying to find the H3O plus concentration of a solution that has a pH of 7.6. And really all you need to know for this is the definition of pH, which is pH is equal to the opposite of the log of the H3O plus concentration. So I can say negative 7.60 equals the log of the H3O plus concentration. And uh, for this problem, all you really need to know about logs is that the uh, um, log is an exponent. So we can say that the H3O plus concentration is equal to 10 to the negative 7.60. And if you punch that into your calculator, on my calculator, it's uh, TI, and I would hit uh, second function and 10 to the X. This is really what we call the anti-log. So we want the anti-log of negative 7.6. So I'm hitting second, 10 to the X, and then, um, negative 7.6 and then enter. And when I do that, I get 2.5 times 10 to the negative eighth. Now, it looks like I have three significant figures up here when I'm given the, the pH, but it, it, since the pH is a, an exponential function, the, the seven here is really just sort of like a placeholder. It's telling me whether I have a really big number or a really small number. And in this case, it's going to be really small because uh, it's 10 to the negative 7.6. The 0 0.60 is telling me what the number is. And since that's only two significant figures, you really only want two significant figures uh, in your answers. So sometimes maybe on a multiple choice test or something, they could kind of trick you or something. And, and uh, you, would, you would be thinking you were, had the wrong answer, but it was just really a problem with significant figures. So that's really uh, all there is to it. Okay.